Deacon Moran, uh, that was a pretty high score match. Going back and forth. What, what, what are you thinking throughout the match to keep your composure? Uh, I'm just never thinking at any point. When I get in a bad position, I'm never like, oh man, I'm going to lose now, you know? I'm still focusing on next best thing, next best thing. That's what my coach always says never focus on the bad things. So, I mean, when you're clicking, when you're firing on all center cylinders, what's working for you? I mean, what are you finding in your attacks and your shots? Honestly, I feel like I was a little bit too reactionary this match, but my doubles still, that's still my bread and butter. Uh, you got uh, the there at the end. You had the, the lead, but you got the reversal. Do you feel like that was a good thing to be able to handle like that? Oh, yeah. I don't like finishing off matches just sitting there. I never like to get ahead and just kind of stall. I always like, if I keep firing, keep firing, you know. Uh, I don't know what I got lined up for the rest of the summer, but just keep wrestling, I guess. Never stopping, never stop training. You talk about this event, just what it took to grind all the way through it and get an opportunity to, you know, compete against so many top opponents throughout the weekend. Huh? What was that? I'm sorry. Just talk about the event, competing, you know, against so many tough opponents oh. throughout the weekend. Yeah, this tournament, it's a, it's definitely a meat grinder at 190 this year. A lot of tough guys from all over, wrestling guys from Dakota, tough states like Indiana too, even wrestling somebody from my home state, you know, was in the same state bracket as me. Definitely took a step up from this tournament last year. I was in like a 12-man bracket, lost to uh, Deshaun Ross in the semis, you know, pretty good wrestler. <laughs> Yeah, but overall just feeling good, you know. Awesome, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man.